What's up everyone? <laughs> it's Tim back here with another video. In this video, I'm just walking. Uh, walked a couple miles really. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm going to be a little bit busy so I'm not going to be able to make videos like I want to and upload them to YouTube. But uh, definitely got keep you guys updated on what I'm doing in life. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a walk here in nature on this bike trail, looking at beautiful scenery. Um, this is Wisconsin. <laughs> we got uh, I'm like right on the border of Illinois and Wisconsin, so. Um, between there, there's a lot of countryside, uh, a lot of land, and just like open views. And I'm actually walking towards where I live currently. Uh, not doing too much, man. I needed to take a break from the city life and the hustle and bustle of things, and you know, I like to come out. Uh, to the countryside, take a walk, uh, just to see land and, and the sky, look at that, the sky. I'm going to start uh, using my lenses. I know I've been making uh, all these videos and forgot when I was out overseas that I had bought some lenses. <laughs> And I just haven't been using them for the videos at all. Um, but yeah, I just decided to take a walk. Like I said, get away from the hustle and bustle. Look at some beautiful scenery. The quietness. Do a little bit of meditation. Walking meditation. Every step I take, I empty my mind from every thought so every thought and every step coincides every breath coincides it just feels good it's about like 6 5 p.m. 5 6 p.m. um yeah now I decided just to make a video as I'm walking out here show you guys some beautiful views what I'm seeing what I'm looking at um, I enjoy life <laughs> I enjoy seeing beautiful views nature uh, different cities different countries you know I like the cities I like everything like I said I'm in love with life every chance I get try to do something different my days are not the same every day um, and I like it that way I don't like waking up and doing the same shit every day I like to wake up and uh, do something new when you wake up and do something new you get a chance to expand your mind you get to see things that no one else is gonna see get to experience things that no one else can experience um, crossing this road <laughs> so yeah as you guys can see countryside baby I love this shit <laughs> uh, I don't know what else I could say I'm just walking chilling Yeah, walking on these trails there's people that ride their bikes walking their dogs jogging you know if you ever get the chance I'm pretty sure you guys got some some type of trails near you guys wherever you're located in the world there's trails everywhere in the world I like going off the beaten path <laughs> Ross Timotheos Tim Kelly off the beaten path but this is how I get my mind right, man. 
you know we a lot of times we get caught up in like I said the hustle and bustle of life in the city or life in in the in a rural town and you get caught up in the material shit and you get caught up in things whereas you come out here you can get you get to see things that you know nature you get to see birds you get to see animals like before walking down here I thought I seen a deer uh, yeah like I said I'm in Wisconsin um, there's not really there's not really any poisonous anything out here uh, the mosquitoes will get your ass in the summer but right now uh, it's October so we don't have to worry about mosquitoes none of that it's nice and cool this jacket's keeping me warm, man. I, I feel like taking it off. That's how warm I am. Um, yeah. Here, I'll turn the camera so you guys can see where, what I'm looking at. You got some old, uh, old farm equipment buildings. It's probably used as a uh, just where they stock parts for different things. I saw an old, uh, a old farming tool over here. Uh, maybe like a, a riding hoe. Um, <laughs> a riding hoe. <laughs> Ross Timotheo's got jokes. <laughs> no. Let's see, maybe we'll go up to it and, and look at it, shall we? Take a little adventure. I still got a couple. I got like a mile and a half, maybe three mi three miles at the most to go, so I get to where I'm going. Uh, damn, it's already seven minutes. I don't feel like nothing in it. But yeah, check this out. Old uh, old farming equipment. on it old equipment there it's pretty cool in it yeah definitely in the countryside uh, but yeah man I, I like to take a walk nature get my mind right like I said there's some forest areas right there. Um, it's a little bit of a forest area coming up. Maybe I'll stop the video and come back to you guys and let you guys see that. All right, so like I said, I was gonna come back to you guys once I got up here. You know, you guys like close-ups. Close-up of the water. <laughs> yeah, that shit's scary, man. <laughs> Hello! Not really a, a echo. It doesn't go too far, but let's head back up to the trail. <laughs> like a little adventure. Here's the other side, more nature, 
beautiful, isn't it? So my my goal in life is to get some land, just maybe a couple acres, what, three or four acres. Um, I've got a house plan already set up in my mind of what I want to do. The wood is pretty cheap. It only cost me like 1,500 for the wood. Pretty cheap. And uh, yeah, I just want to be in a place where I could um, grow my own foods where it's warm like 95% of the time. I hate the cold. <laughs> Here it, it just fucking snows, snowstorms and everything. We got like negative degrees. I took a picture of these things earlier. Those of you guys who know them burrs, this is Wisconsin for you. These things will stick all over to you. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? But yeah, like I was saying, I've got like my house plan. Just need some land. I need you guys to support me so I'll, you can see that into fruition. I'll even record myself building it. Uh, and upload it to this exact same channel. Um, I've had this channel for about, what, since 2011, 2012? Um, started, started out talking about like spirituality, the mind. Basically, what I, the same stuff I upload now, but, you know, it's been all those years, and I got to, I got to delve more deep into the science. Went to the library, had stacks of books in my bag, like, literally had to carry, like, three bags just to bring the books home. Um, but that, I encourage all you guys, go to, go to your public library, start studying things, study nature, biochemistry science plants edible plants things like that these th those sciences of you know our ancients the sciences that our ancestors knew about things like that man we need we need people that know these things read don't just read one book read 10 books 30 books 40 books all right look i'm gonna step off this trail and see what this land is Looks like they got some greenery growing. Uh, check it out. Uh, it looks like cabbage. Yeah, check it out. This is a farm in Wisconsin. I don't want to go too much because it's going to get uh, wet and muddy but yeah you got um cabbage it looks like let's see if we can get get a little bit closer yeah cabbage and this actually goes to the local market maybe even out uh Maybe even out towards Illinois, Indiana, fucking Minneapolis. They probably got their own their own farms out in Minnesota though. But yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Hope you guys like this little video here that I'm doing. It's about 14 minutes in. Uh, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but just wanted to bring you guys with me on my journey out here. I said I uh, just decided to go for a walk, see some nature in the countryside. Check that out. There's the other side of, of that patch that we just came from, and that I'm pretty sure is a cornfield, but there's no corn. Obviously, it's October. Not sure though, not sure what was growing there. Might have been corn. Definitely known known for our corn out here. 
Uh, yeah, so I was talking about my the house I want to build, <laughs> land. Um, I'm single. <laughs> I don't I don't have kids. Like I said in my my past videos that you guys seen, I lost my daughter. Um, had a girlfriend out in the UK, uh, and our daughter was born, stillborn, and um, yeah, she didn't make it. So, and then our relationship didn't work out. But it's a lot of growth. I had to I had to go go to different countries just to get back home. I was homeless. I was on the street in a fucking foreign country. And then I went to Spain, as as you guys see some videos of me in Spain, um, which was beautiful. I loved it. Um, I don't know. I just like I said, this video just kind of sums up who I am as a person. Really, I like nature. Have deep love, man. I, I got I got so much love to give. You know what I mean? So much knowledge and understanding that I, I've learned over the my 28 years of being on this planet but I'm no one <laughs> just another one of the what 7.5 7.8 billion 7.8 uh, billion people on the planet I'm one of them <laughs> and uh, yeah like I said I just got a lot of love a lot of inspiration for you guys um, did a lot of mental building on myself, but really, honestly, it was more of letting go of of everything. Like I said, after I lost my daughter, it was just like, well, what is life? Why am I even here? Why am I even existing? You know? And it sucks because uh, when, I when I found out that I was going to have a child, that that to me was like what you're looking at like it was it opened my mind to well wow i can like she could be the next you know she could be the next uh the hell is that oh it's just a squirrel <laughs> squirrel but yeah it's like um she could be the next doctor she could be the next fucking someone who could cure cancer type of thing you never know what people are capable of what people learn and i'm talking about the good positive things people are ca capable of because we all know the negatives in the world fuck all that let's be positive those of you guys watching my videos y'all know what i'm talking about it's about love and peace happiness being better than who you were yesterday all those good the good things man but yeah, it was just like when I found out I was gonna have a kid, I was so I was excited. I was like, yeah, I can show, I can take my daughter on these walks, you know. I can I can show her life, the beauty in things. And then I found out that she didn't make it, and that just hurt. That hurt, man, so much. And I haven't really ever since I've been back. I've only been back for a couple months now in the US but ever since I've been back I haven't really had anyone to really talk to I haven't really had anyone to vocalize you know what I'm feeling what I'm going through what I want what I need I was almost homeless at one point and right now I'm like I said I just I'm wrote my book and I just produced my other book the mind is all the universe is mental <laughs> it's all about the mind man you have something in your mind you can bring forth and bring it to reality it doesn't matter what it is it starts from this right here what what you do you know what I'm saying it's about clearing your mind and then implanting the, the right seeds and that's what my video that's what my video is about that's what my channel is about giving you the right seeds to put in your mind and, and let that shit sprout up yeah <laughs> and it's kind of funny we're looking at countryside land shit like that 
but yeah that's what I want to do is like I want to put the put the right the right mentality for you guys I want you guys to be better yeah I'm not saying that you guys aren't better but you guys I know who watches my videos the type of people who watch my videos are like me yeah so that's what I got <laughs> hello people riding the bikes Fucking going like 30 miles an hour on the bikes. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a bike to ride out here. Um, it's illegal to ride a motorbike on, on these trails. Which sucks, because I'm pretty sure it'd probably be fun as shit. <laughs> zzz, zzz, all the way down, back and forth. Zzz, till you gotta fill up with gas. <laughs> Four wheelers and everything. I wish. Not saying that it probably doesn't happen, because... The people that own the, these lands, these farmlands, they probably got four-wheelers and mountain bikes and shit like that. And uh, motorbikes, mopeds, they probably ride on their land all day, you know, their kids and their generations. But yeah, I don't know, man, I'm just talking, give you guys my ideas. Um, but really, I want you guys to be self-sufficient. Self I want you guys to be able to go in nature and survive. Like for me, um, I recently had, a, when I got back here to the U.S., uh, I was staying in my in my tent in a, uh, in a very heavily wooded area right near the beach, right near Lake Michigan. And uh, every day we woke up, took a, took a bath in the lake, um, with soap and everything it was nice man and then uh, we'd had we had to walk like at least a mile through the woods just to get to where we can get water and then it was another like um, 0.3 or third of a mile just to um, get to a to the the closest store and so had to walk to do that got to the store got some foods I wasn't eating plant-based we weren't eating plant-based oh okay <laughs> yeah we weren't we weren't eating plant-based but uh, the store was near you guys know I like I like eating plants so um, but the store was a little bit further and it just got hectic like there was times where I was like okay man I wanna we need to eat got to go to the store but we didn't want to leave our stuff we had laptops and everything and there's a place where we can charge our stuff so and then you know we have Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is everywhere you can connect to even though we were deep off in the woods in our tents so it was beautiful man wake up every day the sunrise right over the lake and all you see was the Sun you know come up from the water it's beautiful um, he ended up having a medical illness, vertigo, and so he had to leave, and that that really sucked because he, you know, he was someone I can connect to. Uh, actually, if you guys know about my other channel, the Temple of Divine, um, the the guy I make videos with over there, he was the guy that actually came out here from another state. So he traveled for all the way from another state to come out, you know, do some camping. There's actually another guy. That you guys may know of um, I don't know if he wants me to shout him out on here but Hugh o. Jordan a freeformer <laughs> he came out um, out here to Wisconsin before and we ended up going to camping in the same woods but yeah it was amazing man um, the whole self-sufficient part came in where it was like well damn we got to get some water the beach is closer the lake has fresh water, fresh clean water lake, so, but we didn't want to drink straight up from it, you know, we didn't want to do that. So what we did was, was we took the sand and the rocks and stuff from the beach and we filled up a sock, right? And we filled up the sock with some ran, uh, sand and gravel and rocks and then took another jug of water, filled that up with the water from the, from the lake and, uh, there was another jug underneath the un, underneath the sock and we just poured the water through the sock and let it you know filter through 
And I tell you what, that's some fresh water right there. But, yeah, it was just a good experience, man. But, like I said, I'm just taking a walk. I still got a long ways to go. <laughs> I done walked my ass. That's all right. I needed this. Get my mind right, I feel good. But like I said, I really don't have too many people to talk with. Um, I live with family, but you know how family gets. Sometimes they don't want to talk about things. I have experiences I want to talk about from that I had in the UK and Spain, but you know, sometimes you can't even talk to your family about those certain things. You know, there's certain times I can't even tell my family about certain goals that I want, that I have just cuz you know, if you if you tell people your goals, they kind of the people close to you kind of tend to I made a video about that. They people close to you won't support you cuz they don't have the vision, but they know they know where you come from and it's harder for them to see you doing your vision especially if they're around you and it's not like I'm I'm no different from where how I was in Spain but I am now like and how I am from the UK because that was a totally that was a learning experience that I had to have you know the universe put me in those places to have those experiences to be able to come to you guys with what I can come to you now you know and every day is another day to learn something new Every day is, is another day to empty your mind, <laughs> you know, and fill it back up with some beautiful things. So that's, that's my thing. And I know this video is almost 30 minutes long, but I hope you guys like these longer videos. Maybe I'll start doing that too. Um, I'm actually coming up to a... Uh, to the next road, <laughs> as you guys seen that that last road was all the way down there so coming up to another road here and then I got a whole another I think another mile to go so but yeah I'm just having a beautiful experience out here so thankful happy and grateful to be alive happy and grateful to see the things I can see there's a there was a, a red robin that just flew <laughs> those of you guys know that uh, about um, sacred animals i ride the back of sacred animals so i don't fall short carry me through to another port i'm a spiritual force <laughs> residual thoughts from words getting lost in the ways of the lord in tune with the cord the cross dimensions the access to the source <laughs> my over, over radiant tones fall out the zone like a merry go round i just go round as the birds sing from their mouth Ancestors, Aboriginal Americans in the South Mississippi, out of the earth elements, we build our house from the mounds. Oh, but yeah, here's the road. Wait for these cars. I'm original sound, smoke a blunt on a couch. <laughs> Spiritual thoughts I arouse, and no need for a crowd. <laughs> yeah, that's some shit I wrote. In the UK, I was just sitting there, chiefing. Just had these thoughts, man. But yeah. <laughs> someone, someone asked if I could do. Uh, someone that knows me knows uh, that I I like to take psychoactive plants. I'm Native American, from from the root. I'm indigenous American, indigenous, so they know I take plant, certain plants that allow you to have spiritual experiences, and they were like, man, why don't you make videos about your spiritual experiences you had over the years, because they know that I, I've had many, at least more than I can count on my hands, many, many experiences with the plants, different, different type of plants. Um, for example, uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Um, what else? I took LSD once. Um, well, a couple times, but I didn't. I don't like that shit. It's not natural, you know. I prefer natural plants. Um, yeah, they want 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 me to talk about psilocybin mushrooms, microdosing, and all that. Uh, what else is there? 
It's a whole bunch of stuff like uh, salvia. You know, that's that's now illegal um, in certain areas of the world. But nonetheless, there's still experiences that I've had. And I mean, I can share them with you. Wild experiences, good, good experiences and bad experiences. Near-death experiences, things like that. It, it, was, it was my near-death experience in, in 2011 that caused me to make a YouTube video to try to document because I, it was like almost like, okay, I had this, this experience of dying and then a, a rebirth. And it was like on, upon that rebirth, it was like, okay, I was down, I had a download of, different, of knowledge, information, self-knowledge, self-information. And, uh, yeah, and then I went to, started going to the library. I was actually living in another state at that time, and I started going to the library. Got a lot of experiences there, learning more and everything. But right now, I'm, I'm looking at the map. We're here. I got to go past this street right here. <laughs> Here's the lake, Lake Michigan. I was all the way all the way north up there when I was just talking about um, my experiences in the woods camping out there I was all the way north from where I am now yeah I still got a, a while to go on my walk here but yeah I just wanted to make this video guys I don't want it to be too long but then again I don't care I'm not gonna edit it I'm just gonna upload this video here and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy like these longer videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy like me just talking, showing you guys life, nature, countryside. Uh, the sky. <laughs> Probably seen much of the sky. My head in the sky. Uh, Got to keep your mind in clouds, huh? Yeah, going on the airplane, man. That was my first time going on an airplane. When I went to the UK the first time. I went, I've went. i been to the UK twice. Spain once. Um, I'm, I have a plan. I want to I want to keep traveling the world. I know I say I travel the world in, in the videos, but shit, once you go... Once, I've been to many different states here in the US, so... Once you, once you travel once, shit, you're traveling. You're always traveling. Um, so yeah, I did, I have traveled the world and, uh, I'm going to continue traveling the world. I'm going to continue going to different places around the world. I love it. I love seeing the way people live. I love seeing different cultures. Like I said, in the beginning of this video, sometimes I like to get away from the hustle and bustle and, uh, you know, enjoy nature. Enjoy life. Get away from the hustle and bustle of people, places, and things. And actually just sit and chill somewhere. <laughs> like I said, you guys seen me in the in the middle of, on top of the hill in Spain overlooking Barcelona. That was beautiful. Got to meet some cool people. Got to help some people. Like for me, um when I was in the Oh shit. 